Hello everyone and welcome to episode 146 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, I showed off um, a pattern that uh, Assistant and I made of my lovely face. Oh, and also patterns of uh, the Jack's Junction sign. Yeah, but that's, that's totally not as good. Anyway, in this episode, we're going to be going after the creatures that are going away this month, and I'll explain why later. Anyway, today's birthday is Bones. Bones is a very popular character. Happy birthday, Bones. Let's start. All right, and yesterday we also got a new statue from Red for the first time in life. A very, very long time. Like, I'm pretty sure the last time he gave me a real piece of art was in June. Because I'm pretty sure both of the times... But I'm pretty sure he only came twice in July. And those two times... He didn't have anything for me. So yeah, he finally is giving me something new. Good morning, everyone! Right now in Jacktown, it's 11.46 a.m. on Tuesday, August 4th, 2020. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today, but... the le oh, Did you notice that August 4th, at least for me, is the least important 4th of summer? I mean, uh, July 4th, 4th of July is a Independence Day, uh, the 4th of June, my birthday, 4th of August... Well, let's make it the specialist 4th of August we can make it. Just so it feels special. <laughs> Compared to the other 4s. I looked up my horoscope for the day and it said I'm going to have good luck. Oh dear. I guess that doesn't really qualify as news, does it? My horoscope probably tells me I have bad luck because uh, I'm hearing this for the 1,000th time. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. So, yeah. Uh. Oh, here's the picture of my face. Doesn't it look like me? A little? Oh, right. Um, yesterday, Clay got me a camo shirt, and I'm wearing it now. And then I checked the dump the same day, and they had camo pants. Isn't that just so insane? Like, what are the chances? Anyway. Jolly Reds. Oh, right, and two cushions! I forgot I forgot that uh, I was going to do the two cushions. And uh, here's the Jolly Reds thing, by the way, but, yeah. The cushions are most important, because I have a lot of stuff in my pockets that I don't need. Okay, let's, uh... Go inside the house and do some stuff with some of the stuff, including uh, the cushion, the cushions. Because there's you if it, you know what uh, you know what I'm tr going to do if you uh, saw the last episode, but if you haven't, then uh, it's going to be a big surprise and it's going to be a funny surprise. And we get a KK song that we already have there. Anyway, so in my storage. I need to get... No way, I don't have any? Go! Oh. Okay, I was looking for uh, some customization kit so I could customize these cushions with a surprising thing, but it looks like I can't do that so far. For now, I'll just open them. Oops. Okay, what is this piece of furniture up here? A toilet? I, I don't need that right now. I, I, I just went a second ago, so I don't need that. Anyway, here is the here is the statue that Red got me, and it is absolutely huge. Like, look at that. So yeah, we're gonna stick around for the end of the episode. We will donate it at the end. So anyway, I want to sell some stuff and get uh, that... Uh, the customization kits, uh, then I'll explain why we're looking for creatures that are going away this month, because I already have everything that is going away for this month. Anyway, 
Please say there's something good in the store. Eh. I mean, there's an exercise ball, but it's not too good. Okay, I would like to sell this shark, this bass. You know what? I don't need to go over all of them. Just I'm selling all the stuff. Wait! Not the squid, because that's going away this month. And not the gar, because... I don't know why, just not the gar. I'll explain later. Um, but the hammerhead shark can go. Okay, I'm guessing, uh, uh, that I need two customization kits for two cushions. But just in case they require more, I'm gonna buy one, th buy them in bulk, aka five. Just in case, you know. Anyway. Uh, hopefully, uh, Gull Gulliver or Gullivar are here today. I don't know why, I just... I just, I just like doing stuff for them. Anyway. We'll customize these cushions. That sounds so weird. But it's true, we're gonna customize these cushions. Uh, then we're going to... Um, look for the creatures that are going away for the reason that I will have told you by then. Anyway, uh, let's, uh, customize something. I'm willing to customize this cushion. And the reason is because I want to do a custom design on this cushion and use the Jack's Junction symbol. So, yeah, uh, now we have a Jack's Junction cushion. Who wouldn't want that? But you might be asking, what did you want to do uh, do with the other cushion? Well, um, it's probably obvious. It's probably obvious by now, but uh, I'm doing it. I'm crafting a Jack face pillow. I'm done for now. But here's the real, real question. Where should I put them? I could put it next to my house. Or I could put it in my house. Or I could put it in this relaxing place because sitting on my face and sitting on the Jack's Junction symbol are both very relaxing. Anyway. Oh, it looks like it's kicks here today. Yeah. So it's, uh, not really something that I have to get into that much. I mean, to do that much. Where should I put these cushions? Let's see. Hmm, I want it to th them to be in a place that nobody expects them. How about, um... Oh, I know, I know. How about I get rid of these Jack's Junction signs for no... So it's not too repetitive. Then we shovel up these flowers. And then we put them on either side of the entryway. Now that is going to be funny. Okay, I would like to put this cushion here. So the balloon isn't in the way of it. Look. I mean, so the balloon is in, in the way of the really important one, which is this. Oh, they're beautiful. Look at them. I can now sit on my face and on the Jack's Junction symbol. Oh, it's just so good. That is just so amazing. Anyway, uh, I should probably explain why... Um... I'm going to look for the new creature, to, for the creatures that are going away this month, if I already have them. The reason is because, uh, well, I'm trying to get every CJ and Flick model, so every month I stockpile the creatures that are going away. So I, uh, I have it all down right here, uh, on my phone. So I am missing, I mean, like, uh, 
I need to get this month three of each of the following. Common Blue Bottle, Great Purple Emperor, Cicada Shell, Drone Beetle, Saw Stag, Miami Stag, Brown Cicada, Robust Cicada, Giant Cicada, Evening Cicada, Scare Beetle, Giant Stag, Horn Dynastid, Psychometrist Stag, Golden Stag, Giraffe Stag, Horned Atlas, Horned Elephant, Horned Hercules, Blue Weevil Beetle, Jewel Beetle, Vampire Squid, Sea Pineapple, Killifish, Frog, Giant Snakehead, Napoleon Fish, and Squid. So yeah, that's a lot. Keep in mind that Okay, I'm going to check off some of them because I already have, because either one, I already have the model, j just, just, just because, uh, I thought it, th this, the the thing was cool, and, or two, I've already stockpiled them. So, uh, yeah, I, I do, so I'm, okay, I do already have a Napoleon fish model, and I do already have, uh, the frog, uh, stockpiled. You know what? I'll do this off screen. I'll, I'll check them off off screen. This is boring. I let's just look for some creatures. Common blue bottle. That is one. That is one that we're going after. So yeah, it's sad to see some of these creatures go because the two butterflies that are going away, the common blue bottle and the great purple emperor, are just so like. I don't know, they're just, like, the Great Purple Emperor is, like, I don't know why, I just love, I just love the Great Purple Emperor. It's a real, oh, I scared away a cicada. Hopefully that was a walker cicada, because that's the only one that isn't going away. This isn't going away, but I'm going to catch it anyway. Earth Boring Dung Beetle is staying until September. Anyway, so yeah. I already have the Great Purple Emperor model, so I don't need to go after them, but still, it's sad. Wait, why would, if I wouldn't have to go after them, make it even less sad? Huh. Tiger Butter... Fly. Um, okay, so... Technical difficulties, people. One second. Um... Is it back on now? Uh, no. Sorry, guys. Uh, we'll just have to cut ahead, cut ahead in the episode until we have uh, sorted this out, you know. Bye. Anyway, I see a robust, two robust cicadas back there, and I need both of them, because they're going away. It's so sad that cicadas are so short-lived. Because, like, cicadas are one of my uh, favorite types of bugs in this game. So, so sad that they're only here in July and in August. Well, I guess the walker cicada stays until September, so there's that, but... Anyway. But it looks like the walker cicada is very rare compared to the other ones. There's a third robust cicada. Oh, I scare how did I scare that away? How? Oh, a walker cicada. Oh, come on. Like, they're pretty rare, so I wanted to catch it. Bubbles, by staring at that bush, you're not helping. Oh, a money tree. And finally, cha -ching. anyway, there's a message bottle. Something that I appreciate. Pile of Zen cushions. Oh, that's nice. But 
but I need a Zen cushion to actually uh, to craft it. So uh, yeah, I can't craft it because I don't have a Zen cushion. Anyway, 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 anyway. I don't know why I was talking like that. <sighs> oh, there's a bell tree up there too. I, I shouldn't shake that yet because like there's too little space around it. That could be a killifish and I don't have a, sh a fishing rod. Well, going to the shaking of the trees. Anyway, maybe we should look for sea pineapples. Maybe those won't, uh... Ooh, the robust cicada! The last one I need. Boom! That is the robust cicada down. Okay, we can get a model of that in the future. Anyway, for now I want to craft. But you might ask, what do you want to craft? A fishing rod, of course. M maybe you need some coffee and you weren't, or, and you weren't listening. <laughs> Anyway, let's go and catch this thing that could possibly be a killifish. If this is a killifish, then all I need is two squids and three giant snake heads, and then I'll be uh, done with fishing for August. Okay. It's a goldfish. Of course it's a goldfish. Like, the first time I see a goldfish in so long, I'm not looking for one. Oh, Please say there's a killifish in there. No killifish. Oh, wait. I hear something. What is that I hear? I hear a brown cicada. And it's on a tree. And I'm going to catch it. <laughs> but that's just a grasshopper. That's nothing we need right now. Ooh, that could be a squid. After that, we'd only need one more squid. I didn't mean to... I, I don't want to throw my axe at the squid. I want to catch the squid. Okay. Yeah, squid. Only one more squiddy to go. And that is I'll catch some something that I'll catch anyway, even though it's uh not really going away. It's still rare, so got to catch it. I can't wait till I have like every model. It's going to take like me like a like um Maybe like a couple more years, but <laughs> it's still going to be worth it. Ooh, that could be our last squid. Or it could be not. And it's a zebra turkey fish. Yo, zebra turkey fish, what, what what you doing? Like, you 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 you're you're not going away. Why 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 do you insist I cat you cat I catch you? You see, you're not going away till November. After November, why do you think I should be catching you? Ugh.
Oh, there's a drone beetle, which is going away, but I already have three stockpiled, so... Yeah, I don't really need it. But, like, July is such a... July and August... Like, July was probably the best month yet for creatures. It was just so lively, and I loved it, and I'm so sad that all of it is already going away. Hey, but we still have uh, until September. Oh, wait, common blue bottle. I didn't notice that because I usually don't notice common blue bottles because of how common they are. So yeah, only one more common blue bottle left. Please say this is a killifish because I could use the fish. I, I could usually, I could use the killifish. Eh. And it's a crawfish. And I can't carry anything, so I gotta let it go. Let it go. That song is copyrighted, so I'm not gonna sing it. <laughs> Wait a second. I hear a giant cicada. And I see a giant cicada. And I caught a giant cicada. Okay, what should, what can I get rid of? I can uh, throw a DIY on the floor. Uh oh, there's no room to um, do any of that. So I have to get rid of a bug. Cause uh, yeah, there's no room on the floor. Earthborn dung beetle. Not rare. I don't know why I caught it. It's not even going away. Oh wait, wait a second. There is room here, and that could be a giant snakehead. Okay, giant snakehead, come on. Yeah, giant snakehead! That's rare and good. Anyway, yeah, I can put a DIY down here because there's not any stuff on the floor. Anyway, I should probably go ahead and drop off all the things that... Wait a second. That is a walker cicada. It may not be going away this month, but I forgot to show, like... Okay, I have a confession. I knew about the, the Walker Cicada's joke for since March. And I said to myself, right, Jack, don't forget to say that joke. That is a really good joke. Don't forget to say it. It comes to August and I catch my first Walker Cicada. I forget to say it! So I'm gonna make up and say it now. I walk all the time and no one calls me Walker Jack. Okay, so yeah, that's the joke. <laughs> They're rare, so I'm uh, doing uh, me in September a solid. Anyway, let's uh, go. By the way, this is my CJ slash flick stash. It's a bit of a mess, but uh, yeah, it's just worth it. It's hashtag worth it. So I could get all these models. Okay, I need to be extra careful with the bugs, because they could, uh, be hopping away if I press the wrong button. If I be pressing the wrong button. Oh, the walker cicada sound is just so classic for me. Like, that is like... Th like, the walker cicada sound is the sound I think of when I think of Animal Crossing. In summer, at least. Wait. I have this gar. Even though it's not going away, I still uh, stockpile rare fish, too. Oops, I almost released the common blue bottle. That wouldn't be too bad because they're so common, but still. <laughs> it's something we're looking for. It's something we was looking for. And that is a tiger butterfly. Don't need it. Tiger butterfly, don't need it. Oh wait, that could be another giant snake head. Even though it's a bit on the small side. I think the giant snake head is a bit on the small side. At least for big fish standards. It's not on the small side for 
all fish standards, but for big fish, it's on the small side. Oh no, don't, don't. Why are pond fish always the most annoying fish? Okay, what are you, giant snakehead? Carp. This is our enemy when we're looking for the giant snakehead. The carp. The natural enemy of the giant snakehead in Animal Crossing. A Mayama stag, and that is one of the things we are looking for, stag. Yeah! Okay, there's that one Miami stag down. You know what? I might hunt off I might hunt off screen for some of the more easier ones. And I'll save like the hard ones, like the golden stag for on screen. Oh by the way, I already have all three blue weevil beetles, so that's one rare bug down. Oh yeah, and I'm gonna have to get up early again to try to get that uh Three of those uh, scare beetles and giant stags. Uh, annoying. Oh, why is it always the pond fish that are always annoying? Come on, Killy, 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 Killy! Killy is done. Now all we ow, I hurt myself. Okay, all we need ow, it still hurts. <laughs> Whatever. Ugh, I'm wincing in pain right now. Anyway, uh, oh, I can't even get around. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say is, wait, is that a common blue bottle? Perchance? That was a robust cicada, but that's okay, because we already got all of them. Anyway, wait, what was I saying? All right, now all that's missing for fish is one squid and two giant snake heads. That could be a squid. After this, we would... If this is a squid, we'd only be after two giant snake heads, and that's it. For fish, at least. And it's another zebra turkey fish! Gobble, gobble. Nay, or whatever sound zebras make. I was just saying nay because they are horses. Blub blub. That's that's what that's what the zebra turkey fish goes by the way. Gobble gobble blub blub zebra sound zebra sound. Oh good, a more wow. AEL. So that's what I was looking for, cause uh I mean like that's what I was hoping it was, cause uh you know they're kinda rare, so I had to uh see if that was one and see an enemy okay i was i was grabbing that just in case it was a uh, something rare like a giant isopod you know what i'm sa like I i'm saving up uh, the diving creatures even though they don't have any models just in case they eventually do have models they should even if it's just cj that gives it gives them to you as well or even it could make it because diving creatures are kind of a mix between bugs and fish if you think about oh a giant cicada like they're weird and unique like a bug but they are they uh, live in water like a fish anyway giant cicada that's a another thing down only one more giant cicada to look for Oh, there's a Miami stag, but and oh, there's a common blue bottle and a Miami stag. Perfect. So yeah, that's only one Miami stag missing and all the common blue bottles down. Yoink! I yoinked it. Anyway, I need a, I need a new fishing rod because you probably saw uh, I broke it. I broke mine just now. All right, what I I, I I didn't really finish what I meant about uh, them being a combination between bugs and fish. 
I'm thinking that maybe, uh, like, if, if, like, if, if the reason there's no models is because Nintendo wants to be lazy, then, uh, they could just have it so, uh, both CJ and Flip can give, give them models. Because, because, because again, they're like a mix between bugs and fish. So it'd be kind of, like, and again, he, like, Flick is not smart enough to th know that a tarantula is not a bug. So, yeah, that doesn't, so he could still consider a diving creature a bug. I mean, some of them look like bugs. Okay, so there could be a totally new character, or uh, both, or one of the two, or both could uh, give them to you. I just really want diving creature models. How cool would it be to have something like a Gigas giant clam model, or a vampire squid model? Very cool, right? I scared away something that I didn't need. Or at least I think I didn't need it. I mean, I didn't really get a good look at it. I, yeah, it was probably a stink bug. Wait. Is that something? Could that be something? No, it doesn't look like there's so that something. Ooh! I'll catch it because it's rare, but it's nothing we need. Anyway. Okay, where to look for some more creatures that we need? Oh, oh, that's the last Myamastag we need. Yeah, Myamastag is in the books. I mean, in the bag. Why did I say in the books? That's weird. Brown cicada. Peaches, that is mine. You may be my favorite villager of them all, but... Yeah, but you're not taking my brown cicada. <laughs> anyway, uh... Let's get rid of this DIY, and then go back to the pile to deposit some of the things... Anyway, uh, okay, we'll, we'll put the more eel here, too. Um, and the killifish, of course. My amistag. Oh, this thing is so horrendous, this big pile. I can't wait until... Okay, so what I'm going to do with all the models is, uh, I'm going to, uh, get an extra player. And then have them turn their house into a... Um, a museum full, full of all the models, and uh, the CJ and Flick pile could uh, could eventually be like their uh, storage instead of just out here in the open. But until that day, where I do decide to do that, it, it has to stay out here, which is just horrendous, and it means anybody who is visiting my island via dream is going to be like, what is this guy's problem? But you know what, it's worth it. And here is our, I'm pretty sure that's our last brown cicada. Yeah, last brown cicada, I'm pretty sure. And net broke. Right, I gotta, I gotta make a net quick, cause there are so many bad things, I mean so many good things that could come out. There's a walker cicada. There's so many good things that are coming. Come, that's a saw. That was just a saw stag. Anyway, there's so many things good that could come. I want to make a net so fast, so nothing good happens while I don't have a net. Okay. Like, every time I craft a tool, I need to make sure I craft the right one. Because sometimes I accidentally craft two nets or two rods. Yeah, I need a net. 
Anyway, <coughs> let's check our villager crafting because we're right here. Is it the one, the only Clyde? Let's see, is it? No, it is not. Goodbye, Clyde. Is it the one and only Diva? Yes, it is the one and only Diva. Sup, chum? Need me for something? What you doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Check it out. I'm making an apple chair. Good, a new recipe. Oh, yeah. This DIY stuff takes some major elbow grease, so I like to go all in on it. It's so worth the effort, though. You want to give it a whirl? Making an apple chair? I mean, fish party? I can show you if you want. Definitely. Let's do this! Thought you'd say that! Alright, here's the recipe. Go study up! I can't wait to see how yours comes out. There's nothing like building something with your own hands. Okay. Apple chair. Let's learn this. Ooh, that's cool! It's like a bar chair. Yeah, I might, I might actually craft that. But first, I have a Nick Miles achievement. Ooh, I have one for taking a photo. Okay, let's take, let's take a perfect, the perfect photo. Um, you know what? Uh, let's take it of uh, the horse mackerel I gave Diva. There, perfect photo. Me staring at a horse mackerel's butt. That is like the best idea for a photo, like in like 10 million years, you know. And I need to catch a Madagascan sun set moth. I just did that! Bye, Diva! Bye! Anyway, let's go back looking. Let's go back look. Let's go look for some more stuff. I'm, I really hope I find another cicada shell. Because it's going to be a pain in the tuchus to find three cicada shells. Well, I already found uh, one towards the uh, goal of getting a cicada shell model. So, shouldn't be too bad to get the other one. I mean, like, it's not too hard, I guess. I mean, like, I catch one every, like, uh, um, few days, so I guess it's not too bad. No, anyway, I want to catch this rice grasshopper, because they seem to be rare! Air. Ooh, wait. I think I have all the brown cicadas I need. I are I, I I remember like three times catching the brown cicada, so yeah. I didn't need that. Anyway, what else is there to like look for? <sighs> Ooh, right, uh, we can, uh, skip. Okay, giant snakehead, I think, should be next. Because it's going to be one of the more hard ones, so. If we go after it quickly. I mean, and get if we get it quickly, then we won't have to suffer as much. Man, this game has like basically the best soundtrack. Like it's, uh, in my opinion, this is like the best game soundtrack yet. Actually, I don't know. 
Now I'm thinking there are so many good soundtracks in City Folk and, uh, um, uh, New Leaf. I just like the calmness, though. Giant Cicada, I'm pretty sure that's the last one I need. And I'm never gonna catch it, because that anchovy is in the way. Right, uh, we're gonna have to do the procedure that we did when we, uh, caught the giant stag. Remove anchovy. Swipe! Boom, that it reminds me of that time that I caught the giant stag. Because that's basically the exact same thing as we did when we caught that one. Okay, brown cicada. Don't need that one. <sighs> oh, right, the jewel beetle is going away. That's one that I'm. Like, there's so many that are going away, sometimes I forget about them. Yeah, giant cicada, already got it. Fruit beetle, drone beetle, already got it. Madagascan sunset moth. There's a uh, Nook Miles achievement that I had just got, as you probably know. Let's just skip ahead. Ooh, I get Nook Miles. Well, of course I get Nook Miles. Ooh, I can catch this for a quick buck or a quick model. Peaches is thinking about something. Hopefully she's thinking about something good. Ah, Spud. Now that you're here, maybe you can help me out with a problem. I got carried away buying an outdoor table. Oh, Pe Peaches, what have we talked about this? You don't buy outdoor tables in bulk. I wasn't sure what to do with my supplies okay so th so she's giving me the outdoor table now. just whatever what even is this outdoor table look like oh it's this i love these so what i was thinking about doing with them is that's what all my models are going to be on when i d get the model museum so yeah that's definitely useful What is that? It is a Miami stag, and we already have one, so goodbye, Miami stag. I need space in the bug limit for things I do need. Same goes to you, brown cicada. Right, jewel beetle, I keep forgetting. That's what I'm gonna look for. Ooh, but that could be a giant snake head, so I gotta go after that first. Come on, don't be a carp, be a giant snake head. Come on, giant snake head. 
Yeah, giant snake head. I don't only want giant snake head away from getting, having everything in the fish. Wait, did I catch a third squid? I don't know if I did. What I do know is I want to catch that. Now I have three so I could make a model of it for, so I'm doing a, I'm pretty sure December me a solid. I, I honestly have no idea when some of these things are going away. Right, jewel beetle. You know what, how about I forget about the jewel beetle for now? Oh, and everybody's sweeping now. Why? I don't know. Wait, do, okay, what I wanted to check was, do we have a third squid? It doesn't look like we do have a third squid. See, I need, I still need one giant snake head and one squid, and I'll have all the fish I need for this month. But first, I shall place down, uh, these cicadas. Come on, go away small fish. I, I need big fish in a big, in a big pond. I need big fish in a small pond. Not little fish in a small pond. Ooh, that could be one. Come on, be the last giant snakehead we need. Thus, we would only need one squid. Giant snakehead, giant snakehead. You know what, that kind of sounds like something you would chant. So I'm gonna chant it as I uh, um, uh, catch this fish. Maybe it'll get me uh, good luck. Giant snake head, giant snake head, giant snake head. Yeah, giant snake head. I'm pretty sure those are rare, so we just caught three in a day. That's That's really good. Like really, really good. So yeah, we could just, uh, you know, complete the entire fish going away thing and get one last squid today. You know what? That, that's gonna be a priority. Just call me the stockpiler. <clears throat> Seriously, I should be a wholesaler for fish stores. I mean, look how many I have. And look how many. <laughs> like, I can catch exotic barrel eyes, arowanas. So much exoticness. And for bug sellers, I got exotic blue weevil beetles and golden stags just for the people who want them anyway that's not a squid and it's in a place where i can't get it so double no that's way too small to be a squid come on come on just i, I just need a little squiddy widdy 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 i just need a squiddy widdy 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 Aw, oh, look, Peaches is sleeping. Aw, oh, that's so nice. Right, gotta take a picture of that. Wait. Oh, uh, one second, guys.
We're both asleep now. That's a Miami stag. Don't, don't, don't need it. Hello, freckles. Okay. Maybe it would be more lucky. Like, maybe I could get lucky, I mean, on my beach with the, uh, um, pillow. With the, uh, amazing pillow. Maybe that will bring me good, maybe my face will bring me good luck. But that, you know what? Like, for some reason, this is how I work in Animal Crossing. I get so much rare stuff. I'm able to whip up a golden stag without breaking a sweat, a mahi-mahi without breaking a sweat, and so many other rare things, but when I try to catch a common thing, I never get it. Hey, Spud, guess what? I've got something special for you today. It's a present. Here, take it. Please say it's a piece of furniture. Of course it's a shirt. A flashy jacket. I hope you don't got one already. Yeah, I have like three. But don't worry, this one's special because it's from Nate. Oh, never mind, I don't have any. But I'll put my wetsuit over it so I can save some space. Right, is it on Triceratops Beach? I mean, is the squid... Ooh, that is... I'm gonna catch it anyway, just, just in case it's something rare. But... Yeah, it's definitely not a squid. Squid are small. Okay, come on, what are you? I'll flounder. Anyway, I hope they add like an extension to uh, the game. Like, I mean like a fish extension, like a fish, like more bugs and more fish for this game. The, re the real reason I want this is because um, in Pocket Camp, yeah, I'm starting to play that a little. Wait, I'll, 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 I'll carry on after. I'm starting to play that a little. And, uh... There's a, a fish called a... F there's a fish that is a flying fish. Th like, okay. They have a fish in that game called a flying fish. Which is only... Ha has only ever been seen in that game. I wish that was in, in a main lot in a main series game. The reason is because Pocket Camp doesn't have a museum and just think how amazing a flying fish would be in a museum. I'm, th You know that big tank that you can walk through? Oh well, uh, it actually doesn't have any lid so if they ever add the flying fish to this game it should be in that tank so um, it could like uh, jump out of the tank and like you could watch it do that. That would be so cool. Anyway, there's a uh, blue weevil beetle right there. Too bad I already uh, have all of them because uh, that would have been a good step in the right direction. Boom, blue weevil beetle. Um, so yeah. I already have three, so yeah, that was, I didn't need to catch it, but it's really rare, so, kind of, kind of, kind of had to. Whoa, that's a big fish. I'm just, I'm just catching fish that could be squid or big. Okay, what are you? A Napoleon fish. That's going away too, but I already have the model. So, yeah. Sayonara, bass. Anyway, I should uh, drop off the things that I... <gasps> jewel beetle! There, that's a jewel beetle. That's one of the things that are going away. All right, because I'm on a, I was on a scrunch time schedule, um, 
I couldn't put it out. Uh, I couldn't actually. The reason it's on my phone is because I was on a touch scrunch time schedule for making this video. Um. So yeah, that's why I don't have a proper list that I could actually check stuff off of. Instead, it's just on my phone. So yeah, the next episode we will have a proper list. So don't worry. Oh, I can actually check stuff off. Anyway, do I have anything else that I could put in the CJ slash Flick stash? Okay, I'll, I'll put in the uh, big butter, butterflies. The big butter. You know what, that's what I put in my CJ and, Fli and Flick stash, big butter. I may as well catch it. Just in case it's something rare, like a ray. Again, I'm trying to get every model. That means, oh, I have to look for rare fish, too. Whatever, it was probably just a sea bass. Who likes sea bass? I don't. That's a Miami stag. Already have it. Ooh, wait. I just want to catch this just in case it's a ray. It's a sea bass. Whatever. You hear me? I said, whatever. Because I, like, don't care. I do care that my fishing rod broke, though. You know what, we're running out of time in this episode anyway. How about we just end it here? Hmm. Sorry, I was just uh, thinking about something. Anyway, let's donate this giant rock head statue. And it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> It's gonna look so good in the museum. I have no idea where it's gonna be, but I know wherever it is, it's gonna look good. Oh, oh dear, pardon me. Why, hello, Jack. Welcome to the Jack Town Museum. How may I be of service? Make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? This rockhead statue. Finally, we get a something I can donate. Ooh, unless I'm mistaken, and I am not. That is a rockhead statue. Oh my, but it is so much more of a rockhead statue than I could have imagined. <laughs> I shall treat this donation with the utmost care, Owl's Honor. I shall also leave details about your donation for all to read once it is on display. Ooh, please do check back later. And by later, I mean immediately. Might I help you with anything else? I'm fine. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. I guess might I help you with anything else sounds more... Sounds more like a museum curator, but... I miss what he said before. Let's ending with premises. Okay, where is it? Oh, there it is. Look at it there. It's just sitting there. I love seeing such. I just love, like, the art gallery. It just. I don't know why. It's just so cool just to see some of these things. Boom, I'm singing. Anyway, let's read the details. Or, um, can Blathers come over here and read the details? Oh, but of course. Rockhead Statue, August 4th, 2020, donated by Jack. Olmec Colossal Head Artist Unknown, circa 1000 before Common Era, Basalt Andesite. 
giant stone head thought to be from the ancient Mesoamerican Olmec civilization. The large ones can reach three meters in height. Scholars think they only crafted heads, no bodies. Sorry, did I uh, accidentally no. click it too fast? No, I've got it. Okay. Oh, that's it. Thanks for asking. Uh, wait, uh, I just want to check. Did I actually ever donate anything in July? June 24th. Um, I'm pretty sure these were the two last things I donated before. June 24th. Same. I'm pretty sure, like, I just want to check. Did I donate anything in July? Or did, or did I have to spend an entire July not... Wait, I didn't check. Yeah, but this one isn't from July. April. Yeah. Anyway, um, what I was trying to say is I want to see if, like, I actually had to wait till... August to actually get a new painting and there wasn't any in July. Yeah, April, that's the first painting. Are you kidding me? Wait, I know this one was from June 4th, too. Yeah, so I spent in the entirety of July without getting one painting for the art exhibit. I just want to check this one again because I didn't really properly see it. Yeah, May 20th. Come on! So, July was basically a useless month. So, if, so the first time he came without something, he came without a, any real one. And the second ca t time, he came with a real one, but it was one I already had. So yeah, hopefully in the future I, I could uh, trade that for something else. Uh, maybe if, the, if one of my friends has uh, the same problem. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, we will be looking for some more of the creatures that are going away so I can stockpile them because I want to get every model. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hey, awesome viewers. Thank you for watching Jack's Junction. Please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. Keep being awesome. Just because it's your birthday doesn't mean you get to do the funny thing at the end. That's my job!